Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. Today is also January 25th, which means that it is 11 months until Christmas. <laughs> Just thought y'all know. But yeah, so I'm working on two things today. I got an amigurumi that I'm almost finished with. Uh, I did a lot of work on it yesterday, and I'm going to try to finish it up today. And then I started a blanket project, I guess. Um, it's a, it's squares, and then it's throughout the year. It's like a crochet along. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, I'll talk about the amigurumi first. So it is um, one of my goals for 2023 to make three Halloween amigurumis every month from January through October. So that on Halloween this year, I can set out a bunch of amigurumis for my neighborhood kids here. We live in like a cul-de-sac uh, that's apartment buildings. So um, I want to do that. <laughs> anyways, so I already made two. And I'm, I think each month I'll make the same and grew me just three times and uh so i made a what was the first color i don't even remember oh it's in my bag over there i can't remember now what color i made that first spider <laughs> but it's a spider and then i made a black one it's in the living room i'll show that in another video and then i started a red one so i got the body done and it's got blue eyes glittery eyes <laughs> so this is red heart um super saver cherry red and I'm, I'm using a g hook a four millimeter hook and this is a free pattern. You can get it on Ravelry. It's a PDF by, I think it's Chicken Pseudo Noob. <laughs> I think that's the creator. I'll link it below. But it is free PDF, so you can download it and have it forever, you know. And uh, so I got the body done. I think I actually missed a row in the body. And I know I messed up my stitch count at some point. But I just kept going, and it still is the same shape it's supposed to be. It just might be a little bit wonkier than the other two. But no one's going to know. So now i got to make the legs. Uh, this is a no-sew pattern. You're supposed to put the legs on before you close up the bottom. But I just, I like to weave them in really good, get them secured in there. So I, I will just uh, sew them all on. But so I gotta make the eight little legs and attach them. And then this little guy will be done after I do the little um, blushy cheeks things. <laughs> and uh, so that'll be January's three amigurumis done. What color did I make that first spider? I can't even remember. It's in my bag over there, finished amigurumis. I just don't want to go get it and dig through it. But the second one is black. It's in the living room. But yeah, so that was the first thing. The second thing I started this morning, I had seen it going around um, Facebook and stuff. And I, I thought about doing it. And then I was like, nah, I probably won't. And then t yesterday I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> so I, um, it's from Repeat Crafter Me. And it's a crochet along she's doing all year this year. And it is 12 squares. And then you put them together and make a little, it's a little throw. It's, I think she says it's going to be like a baby blanket size. Um, but what I was thinking is I might make extra squares to put in between them to make it bigger, like solid to color squares, um, to make it bigger. But so this, the first January square is a polar bear. It's all animals. Did I say that? It's animal squares. But, uh, so I got the square done this morning and I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver White and, um, I think this is dusty gray, dusty gray. And then I will also use another color for its scarf when I get to it. But I got the square all the way done and then I did make the ears <laughs> and um this is the snout so i still have to make um the scarf and the two little paws and then attach all those and then stitch on the eyes and do a few little details like you got to stitch on the eyes the the nose and the little uh pads on the paws but uh so I'll, i'm gonna hopefully get that done maybe today who knows we'll see i'll get uh, i have the rest of january to do it which is only a week in it because <laughs> uh next next wednesday i think it's the first of february but anyway so that's what i'm working on today so i'll leave the links down below for the spider and for that crochet along if you're interested in checking it out what I, th oh, I thought about doing is um like this will be the polar bear and then i think i'll make a square kind of in matching color maybe the out of the scarf of the polar bear uh to be beside it and then the next square will be another animal and then do that that way instead of it being three by four it'll be six by eight is that right might be too weird shaped. Be a rectangle. I don't know, but I just want to make it bigger. Uh, I could always add more squares towards the end too, because uh, I don't think it's a join as go type thing. But uh, I just want it to be bigger than just a little tiny blanket, because I don't need a little tiny blanket. Uh, I just I thought it'd be cute to have around the house, you know, because we love going to the zoo and aquarium and stuff uh, all the time. <laughs> so um, we love animals, so we, I thought it'd be cute to have. Uh, so I'll figure it out. I just want to make it bigger. So I'll probably make some blank squares with the colors from the squares just to kind of tie it all together. Um, 
that might be something I do towards the end of the year once I see how the other squares are coming along. I don't know if you can hear our wind outside, but we're under wind advisory today, and it is windy like crazy. We're supposed to be getting snow too, but only, uh, what's it called? Uh, flurries? <laughs> flurries? Uh, we're not getting as much snow as some people are getting. Anyways, so I'll link those below if you want to check them out. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links and stuff because I love um, checking out new patterns and stuff. Also, if you wanted to, you could send me pictures either on the Facebook group or in, through email of what you're working on. If you wanted to show me what you're working on because I love seeing it. Or if you have like an Instagram or something that you post them to, leave it in the comments too and I'll check it out. Because I like seeing, you know, other people's projects and getting ideas <laughs> for stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's it for in a nutshell today. Uh, I'm just working on these. June's napping right now, and Jesse's in there with his headphones on watching video. And so I got to get in there and clean up the kitchen a little bit, and I got to get ready to start. Well, it's only 12. <laughs> I got to get stuff ready for dinner. I cook dinner really early here because Devin, the, the shift Devin's on, usually uh, I'll make it around like 2 or 3, and then me and the kids will eat again later in the day after Devin's at work. But anyways, um, I have to go grocery shopping today too because we are out of a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm going to wait for Devin to wake up so I don't have to take the two kids with me to the store. <laughs> but that's what I'm planning on doing today. We did all the laundry yesterday. Uh, so that's all caught up. So that's nice for like a day. <laughs> but uh, I'm sitting here earlier also on the computer. I was looking at um, recipes that I have pinned. I actually went through them all and downloaded the ones that I want to keep. And then I'm going to delete them all off of there. So that my Pinterest doesn't get too cluttered. Because I have a bad habit of just pinning a bunch of stuff. <laughs> But yeah, it's also, Devin's off the next two days after today, um, and I have a new sewing project that I'm going to make a couple of over those two days, and see about potentially putting it in the shop. So I'm not going to talk about it until I get them made and then I can show them to you. Um, so let's see here. If I can do that tomorrow, I might try to put a video out Friday for it. If not, maybe Saturday. But I'm excited about it, and my friend that I talked to all the time is, you know, was like, supportive. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to try making those, and then I'm going to cut that valentine's day fabric i was gifted up to make bags with i think about making um drawstring bag sets with a matching notion pouch out of that and then i got some notion pouches that i want to get working on so i want to try to get all that stuff like going in the next few days and then try to get them all up let me look at my calendar maybe next weekend if i can get someone time in <laughs> uh let's see here yeah, that'll be the very beginning of February. Let's see. Maybe around the 3rd or 4th of February, I'll be able to get those in there. Because uh, the Valentine's ones, I want them to get out fast so that people who buy them can get them before Valentine's in case it's a gift or something. But anyways, yeah. So I'm just blabbing. I gotta hop off here and do some stuff and get this edited and all that fun stuff. And then I'm gonna set and try to finish this spider. And maybe this square. <laughs> um, I already weaved in the ends to the square, though. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to weave it on my own because I don't want to have to back this. I still have it back to my Christmas one from 2021. It's in the closet. I just need to pull it out one day and do it. I just, like, I dread it. I dread doing it because it's a big blanket. So I need to weave in my ends on these. I, I thought about hot gluing them because it's going to be for a personal use if it comes off and just hot glued in. Uh, and I've never had issues with hot glue on acrylic yarn. Never melted anything. But, um, I don't know. I'll make up my mind when I get there, <laughs> what I'm going to do for sure. But uh, I'm guessing I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.